I've got a quick colony merger video here for you brought to you at the request of Luke aka King of the Green Thumbs at the MI Gardener channel. I'll put his link below. Go check him out. It's a good channel. Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel where hobby beekeeping is a way of life and where I like to open feed. I know that chaps some people's hides but I like to open feed. I do feed inside my boxes but I open feed as well. And the only thing that I can see for me, the only thing that's a drawback is that you feed the yellow jackets as well as the bees. But they're harmless, they won't do anything to you. I mean, I'm not disturbing their hive, they're over here in my feeder. So, of course, the yellow jackets get the same benefit from this as the bees, so their population is going to explode as well and you're gonna have to keep them under control. This is like the second warm day we've had in, in a week and a half or so. So the bees are being real active today. I had been asked to do a video on how to merge hives and I promised I would do that. So this is the hive that I was gonna merge. And I haven't been in them in two weeks maybe. I honestly didn't expect them to still be alive so I'm gonna crack this lid and see what I have left. Yeah, the beetles are strong. The force is strong with this one. <laughs> there's no larvae, but there's plenty of beetles. I'm looking for a queen right now just to make sure before I try to merge them that there's not a queen. actually some pretty good numbers left in here there's just no queen and the beetles are just thick in here man I'll have to merge this with another hive and then treat them for beetles Yep, I am positive that this is a queenless hive and the numbers are still good enough that uh, I'll merge them and we'll get a little more use out of them before they croak. I'm going to go ahead and merge them with this hive. They're in pretty good shape. They're strong. they got a laying queen and they got plenty of honey stores. As a matter of fact, there's a queen right there. There's several ways to merge a hive, but this is probably the most common. So this is what I'll do as a demonstration. Normally, I would use newspaper and poke a couple of holes in it just to give them a place to start working from. Gotta wait on the wind to lay down. So basically, typically, you would have a piece of newspaper and you just poke a couple of little holes for them to start working on. You don't want any big holes. You want to give them 
something that takes a little time to get through so the scent of the two t the two hives merge and they kind of start to accept each other I hope the wind doesn't blow this off while I'm trying to grab that box Okay, here's my stack. Normally this would be newspapers hanging out the end here. But paper towels is all I had in my truck, so that's what I'm using. Uh, I've never done it with paper towels before, but I expect the same results. This bottom board is the same as this one. It's got an oil tray in the bottom of it, but there's no tray in there. So I take the tray out of this one, slide it up in there with some vegetable oil in it, and that'll catch a lot of the beetles. But after I give them a chance to merge for a few days. I'll remove this top box or possibly leave it and just go in and sugar dust everything in there. And as they clean it, they'll run the beetles down into the oil tray. And that's how I treat for beetles. When I merge like this, I don't leave any openings in that top box for them to get out any other way. So they have to actually go through the bottom box to get out. And this right here is propolized shut. So without doing some serious work they're not going to come out that way so I give them uh, today's Friday I probably give them till Tuesday or so to be settled in and then, you know if you don't have anything that you need to do in them the paper can stay it won't hurt anything and they'll chew through it they'll chew it all up and haul as much of it out as they can and when you're in later you can clean it out but there's no need to bust them open again to get the paper out unless you just want to and we've got some warm days coming up so I should be able to do that so this is just one of several ways that hives can be merged I don't have enough cooking oil here right now to fill this whole thing up but I'll coat it and that'll give them a start and then when I'm back over here later I'll finish filling it up Covering up the back of this is a must because the bees will try to go in through that back back entrance. Not really an entrance, but they will try to go in through that back opening. And they'll drown in the oil just like anything else will. I think you might be able to tell from some of my plants here that we've had some below freezing weather here lately. So I'm glad to have this opportunity to do this. And uh, the method I just showed you is probably the most common and one of the easiest ways to merge hives if you got one that's queenless to add them to the other to the queen right hive. But a couple of other ways that I've done that you might have seen on us some other videos is if we do a removal of a hive from a structure or from from whatever, and we vacuum out the bees and we think they're queenless or we know they're queenless is to take our bee basket that you've probably seen, I, I'll find a video of it and link it below, but take our bee basket and stack a couple of empty brood chambers on top of the one that we want to add to and just set the basket over inside of it and open the basket and put a lid on it. And uh, in that case, we don't use any paper separation. We just cold turkey merge them and that seems to work well if you've got a hive that we've just done a removal on so uh, you know we're moving them a good distance from their home and they're not going to try to return to any other location so the uh, paper separation method gives them a little bit of time and also if you if it's really cold outside and your bees are not really flying and they're uh, confined to that hive for a couple of days That'll also help them stay in that location because they won't remember to, turn, to return to the old spot if you're moving them on the same yard. Uh, another way I've merged them on the same yard is to take my um, queenless colony after dark and just pull the frames out of it and lean them up on the front of the hive that I want them to go into and just smoke them in. I've done that with success and 
you know that's an after, that's an after dark procedure so there's multiple ways I'm sure there's others that I don't even know about but there's three of the ways that I use and I hope that was a help to you thanks for watching welcome to a short colony we're gonna do a quick mod we're gonna do a quick <laughs> Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel where hobby beekeeping is a... We're going to do a quick...